Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome back to our lesson. In the previous lesson, I gave you an assignment of two questions, which I'll hear on the board. I hope you've attempted the questions. In this lesson, I want us to go through the two questions to see whether you've done them in the right way. The first one was a gas occupies 200 centimeters cubed at zero degrees Celsius and 740 millimeters of mercury pressure. What volume will it occupy at 47 degrees Celsius at the same at the same pressure. And therefore, this is how you're, to, you're supposed to go about it. Solution to this, the formula, remember it's V1 divided by T1, which is equals to equals to V2 divided by T2. From our question, V1 is equals to 200 cubic centimeters. T1 is 0 degrees Celsius. V2, we don't have V2 and that is what we are looking for. Then T2 is 47, 47 degrees Celsius. Again, the pressure, the pressure remains constant in Charles' law because we say that the volume of a fixed mass of a gas is directly proportional to absolute temperature at constant pressure. And that's why we have 740 pressure and the pressure remains the same. So the pressure, you're not supposed to use pressure anywhere. Therefore, remember to convert this temperature in degrees Celsius to Kelvin. And therefore, it will be zero degrees Celsius. Then you add 273, and this will give you 273 Kelvin. It also, 47, you add 273 to, to make them Kelvin. And this will give you this 47. You add 273 gives you 320 Kelvin. 320 Kelvin. And therefore, now from the formula, you can be able to substitute. The V1 is 200 divided by T1. T1 is now 273. Then V2, we don't have V2, and that's what you're looking for. And T2 is 320, 320 Kelvin. And therefore, to get V2, well, V2 will be given by, you just cross multiply, that is 320 times 200, then divide by 320 times 200 divided by 273. Therefore, V2 is 320 multiply by 200, this gives you 64,000 divided by 273. Therefore, V2 will be will be 234.43 cubic centimeters. That is the solution to our question. Again, the question was about what volume, and the initial volume was 200 centimeters cubed. And therefore, again, you must include these units. So 234.43 centimeters cubed is our V2, and I hope you have gotten that. So that's how you're supposed to go about the question one of the assignment. In the second question, is a balloon contains one 
100 centimeters cubed of air at 25 degrees Celsius. The balloon was put outside in the sun where the temperature was 40 degrees Celsius. Then calculate the new volume of the air. Therefore, this would be, this was our number one. Therefore, number two. The solution to that, the formula again, remember it's V1 divided by T1 is equal to V2 divided by T2. From the question now, you can be able to isolate V1, T1, V2, T2. Therefore, from the question V1 is 100 centimeters cubed. T1 is 25 degrees Celsius. V2 We don't have V2 and that is what we are looking for. Then T2 is 40 degrees Celsius. Again, don't forget to convert these temperatures into Kelvin. So you earn 273. And you earn 273 to make them Kelvin. Therefore, 25, 25 plus 273. This gives you 298. Kelvin, and again 40, you earned 273, this gives you 313, 313 Kelvin. Therefore, you can now be able to substitute V1 is 100, 100 cubic centimeters, divided by T1, which is 298, which is equal to V2, which you don't have, divided by T2, which is 313 Kelvin. Therefore, V2 will be given by 100 multiplied by 313 divided by 298. Therefore, V2 is 331 31300 divided by 298 therefore v2 will be this gives you 105 point zero three cubic centimeters hundred and five point zero three cubic centimeters is the v2 therefore when you left that balloon or when that balloon was put outside in the sun when the temperature was 40 degrees celsius then the volume was 105.03 cubic centimeters at that temperature therefore that is how you're supposed to go about that assignment. I believe that you've done it correctly and that is good. If you've gotten them, then congratulations to you. That is, that was the aim of this lesson. But before I leave, I will leave you with two more questions as part of the assignment. Therefore, those are our, that is the assignment. We have five questions. We have the first one. It says, a gas occupies 420 centimeters cubed at 17 degrees Celsius. What volume will it occupy at zero degrees Celsius? So what volume will it occupy at zero degrees Celsius? Second, the volume of a fixed mass of a gas was found to be 224 centimeters cubed at 288 Kelvin. What would be the temperature in Kelvin for the same gas if its volume increased to 280 centimeters cubed? Number three, 
A balloon is filled with air to a volume of 200 centimeters cubed at a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. The balloon is then dipped in water at 80 degrees Celsius. Assuming no leakage occurs and ignoring the pressure change due to water, calculate the new volume of the air. Number four, a gas at STP was warmed and the temperature rose by 273 degrees Celsius. Calculate its new volume at the same pressure. And lastly, the capacity of a balloon to hold a gas at 5 degrees Celsius is 1,000 centimeters cubed before it bursts due to expansion. Show whether it will or will not burst at 25 degrees Celsius, then keep pressure constant. That is the assignment. Ensure that you've attempted those questions because they are going to help you in practicing. Then you will understand a child's law in a better way. Thank you for being part of the lesson. We meet in the next lesson. Thank you very much. Thank <music> you.